Hi everyone, it's Caitlin Lazardi from Sizzix here at scrapbook.com and today I'm going to show you how to make your own decorated envelope with these cute stamps, the liner, and a wax seal. So I'll open it up so you can see how fun that is. So to get started, let's take a look at the designs that we'll be using. So here I have my envelope liner thinlets that come with interchangeable sentiments as well as these thinlets that you can use or choose not to. We'll also be using my wax seal stamp and framelit, my postage stamp stamp and framelit, as well as my clear stamps to decorate the envelope. So now to cut out the envelope liner, we're gonna use the Sizzix Big Shot. I have my magnetic platform and my glitter cutting pads. So we'll take our paper, place our die with the blade facing down, and we're just gonna insert our thinlet there, and then our Hello Friend right there. And finish the sandwich and run it through. Okay, so now you can see how nicely that cuts out. So I'll just use my dye brush to get out all of these little guys. And there you can see we have our first envelope liner. So now we're gonna take our pink paper and we'll use the thinlet there without the interchangeable thinlets. And this is gonna go behind our blue liner. And there's that one. So now we're gonna take our blue liner and we're gonna add a little bit of distress to the top of it. So now we're ready to add some adhesive to the back. And you just flip it over and line it up perfectly with your pink one. So that way the thin lip portion really shows up. Okay, so now we're gonna set this one aside. So now we're gonna take the clear stamps to directly stamp onto the envelope. I have my address box here, and I'm gonna use this little hello and place it right inside. So you can choose to use it or not, depending on if you wanna put a sentiment or an address. And I'm just using archival black ink, so that way when we do the watercoloring, then we won't have any problem with the ink bleeding. It gives a really nice, crisp image. So I'm using my Stamper's Secret Weapon to make sure that I get a really good transfer and I just press it down and voila. So I have a few other ones that we're going to go ahead and stamp on. Looks fabulous. So now we're ready to go ahead and add the watercolor to fill in our stamping. So I've got my watercolor brush and I have a palette here and I'm just gonna um, pick whichever colors I think suits. So now that I've finished with the water coloring, I'm gonna go ahead and stamp and die cut the postage stamps. So now we're gonna take the same archival ink and stamp it on some white paper. Go ahead and die cut these guys. So now we're gonna take our watercolor and just add a little bit of color to the postage stamps. So now I've put the stamps aside and we're just going to place our little wavy markers here before we attach our postage stamp. 
So now I've just applied the two postage stamps to the top corner of my envelope. So now we're going to flip our envelope over and we're actually going to put um, a thinlet to cut a sentiment into the envelope itself. So I have my mini cutting pads and I'm going to actually take one and insert it inside the envelope. So, and then we'll take our thinlet and we'll just take our other cutting pad and we'll run it through. So now you can see we have our thinlet that's cut right into the envelope itself. So while I have the Big Shot machine out, I'm going to go ahead and cut out my framelit pieces for my wax seal. And I actually want to cut out two at a time, so I'm just folding the paper in half, place the framelit there, and then run that one through. And there we go. So now we're going to take a little bit of pink paper, put some adhesive just on the very outer edges of it, and then we're going to insert this to the inside so that way our little sentiment really shows up. And we're going to bring back our liners and we'll just put some adhesive right on the back there and then put that guy right there. Now on the edges here you can see there's little score marks that have been pressed as you cut. So you're just going to line that up to the um, fold of your envelope so you can see those indentations. And then you're just going to naturally have it, give it that bend. And then to finish off the outside of the envelope, we're just going to add this little strip on the bottom with some ribbon. And I'm going to take my glue glider and I'm just going to apply a strip of adhesive right along the front. And then I'll take my ribbon and press it down. And then we'll apply some adhesive here. And then just place that along the bottom portion of the envelope. And then to finish it, I have this little ribbon here that I've already tied and I'm actually going to take a glue dot to go ahead and apply it. So this will be nice and sticky. Just put it right on the little ribbon and then pop that on right there. So now we have the outside of our envelope all decorated with the liner and now all we need to do is make our wax seal. So the cool thing about the wax seal is we're actually going to use ultra thick embossing powder to create a reverse stamp effect. So that way you can have a very natural looking wax seal. So in order to do this, we've already cut out our, our framelit shapes and we're gonna take this guy and just dab it with Versamark. And you're just gonna take the shape and press it on. We're gonna take a glue dot and just put it on the back here. And I'm just gonna press that down onto a scrap piece of paper. And we're gonna take our embossing powder and just pour that on, tap off any excess. And I'm gonna take my heat tool and just go ahead. Now while it's still hot and um, wet, we're going to go ahead and apply another layer directly on top. We're actually going to do three layers of the embossing powder. So now I have my stamp and I've chosen to put the heart on the inside. I'm just going to dab this with a little bit of the Versamark. So that way when I press it into my embossing powder then it has a nice clean release. So I'll make sure that this is still nice and hot. And I'm just going to take the stamp and press it directly into the seal. And so I'm going to let that sit there for just a little bit to make sure that it, um, the embossing powder has time to set. So now our seal is ready to be removed and as you can see it's taken the form of the stamp. 
So when you stamp it, you want to make sure that your embossing powder is nice and hot so that way it forms um, really well to the stamp. So at this point, where I'm just going to take some darker paint, kind of smudge that into the crevices of the wax seal. And then we're just going to take a dry paper towel and you're just going to run it over the top and it'll just pull off whatever excess you don't want. So that way the high peaks now are nice and light and the darker parts are showing the bit of paint. And you can use any color paint you want, just depending on what look you want to go for. So at this point we're going to go ahead and remove it from our scrap piece of paper. So now we have our wax seal. So to finish it off and make sure that the back looks nice and pretty, we're going to take some adhesive and just put it on the back there. And then I'll take the second framelit shape that we cut out and just layer it right on the back. All right, so we have the wax seal. We're just gonna put a little dab of glue right on the top part. And then we're just going to place it right along the edge of your little flap. And there you have it. So I hope you enjoyed learning how to make your own decorated envelope with the wax seal and everything. Thanks for watching! If you like this video and want to see more from scrapbook.com, please like, share, subscribe, and leave a message. Happy crafting!